I estimate we'll be in about uh, 11.30. We've got one load standard uh, concrete sand, PDH type 8. Yeah, right. Okay. Skipper, you ever pilot New York Harbor? Never been off the Ohio. My dad used to say the view from the wheelhouse of a tug was better than the Empire State Building. I know what he meant. Must have been a real harbor master. He thought you fellas good. You want anything done in town? No. Oh, yeah, I'll pick up my, uh, my good suit. It's going to clean. It's settle up later. How long has he been dead? What? His old man. My guess today. not give her a few more minutes. A little fresh air. What's that? What can it hurt? I'll bring her in now. Like she's in trouble? Well, if she stays in the water.
In Marseille, we have many boats and many sailors. Like you, they're young and strong and tan. And their arms are hard from lifting. With you in the harbor, uh, a fellow could develop his biceps just from reaching. <laughs> it's nice to see a boy smile. Well, I'm not exactly a boy. You know, there's a line of departure, and uh, I took that step a long time ago. I'd like to get that on the record. You sound so happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a million laughs. Well, you're to be envied. Come on, honey. Let's don't fight City Hall, huh? I didn't even get your name. Why can't you tell him I drowned? It's not on today's schedule. And what if I won't come? Perrette, that won't solve anything. And you know it. Goodbye. Where can I call you? I still have his jacket. That's all right, I'll pick it up. Where? So long, kid. Another opening night, another song. You know there is more. But not for me. No, there's no way to stay with Ryan. He's hopeless. Bitter, bitter memories. Why can't he stop hating her? And every other woman because of her. You gotta give those things time for it. I mean, some guys don't heal too fast. Higgy, I'm leaving. I don't know where, I don't care, just anywhere, away from Ryan. Red, you should have seen him when he was swinging. He was too much. Not only as a musician, but hard, you know? Too much hot, I guess, like the broad side of a barn. You know, guys like Ryan make easy targets. But I've got to go. Don't you see how it is? Look, Ryan's got one more chance to pull out of it. You. You got to give him a little more time. Maybe then he'll, he'll open his eyes and he'll see what he has. Truth, beauty, and all the good things he's got coming. Right here under his dumb Irish nose. Right here, Perrette. And you. Look, Max, I don't want to make any promises. We still have two weeks here, a month in Chicago, two weeks in San Francisco, the date on the strip. Yeah. No, I don't want to talk about Mexico City right now. No, that'll be a new deal. Okay, so I'm holding out for more money. Think what you want to think. It's just going to cost you a little more loot in the long run. Yes, nice. Just lose that one strap. Max, look, I got a suite full of people up here. You know, music buffs, local press, you know the routine. All right, talk to me later next week, huh? Right. Yeah. Yes, Max. Okay. Now, where was I? Marseille. All right, let's pick it up there. Marseille, 1959. A great year for wine, but a greater vintage for me. 
So there I was, two days in port, before I had to climb back on that transatlantic saloon I called home that season. You know how it is in the music business. You're either on the bandstand or you're between uh, sets, playing all across the Atlantic. Well, I was planning on sleeping twice around the clock, so I dropped into this waterfront bistro for a nightcap, you know. You need a drink, sweetheart. And that is when I heard Perrette singing. A harvest of sound, richer and riper than all the grapes in Burgundy. So anyway, I know a little bit about law and I know a little French. So I signed her up right then and there. I hear you wrote that contract on the seat of a bicycle you borrowed from a gendarme. Now, is this true or is this one of those columns? Well, she wasn't afraid of the bicycle. And neither was her mother or her father. But if you know anything about Frenchmen, you never hand them a piece of paper. Well, why don't we get back to uh, how you made her an international star? Two words. Hard work. Ryan. Excuse me a second. When do we meet her, sir? As, uh... Well, soon she combs the Monongahela, the Allegheny, and the Ohio out of her hair. I hear you get 90% of what she makes. 100%. But why not? For that's my whole life. Besides, we have a lot of expenses and things, you know. Parties like this, you know the routine. You know, it's like that story about Nero. Well, it seems that his Coliseum was losing money. So he turned to his manager and he said, uh, how about it? So his manager fell down on his knees in front of him and said, oh, great Caesar. The lions are eating up all the profits. <laughs> <laughs> well? It's not coming out, Ryan. Perrette. Perrette, you'd better let me in. Fifteen minutes been outside. Hair, dressed, everything. Exactly fifteen minutes. My mother used to say to me, a man, Perret, is young as long as a woman can make him either happy or unhappy. He's middle-aged if she can make him only happy and old if she can make him neither happy or unhappy. What are you, John? What am I? I can make you feel nothing. What are you? Would you like me to tell you? You're a seven-year contract with five years to go. The express elevator right to the penthouse. The sweet ticket home. Right back on top of the heap. That's what you are. All I've got. All I've ever wanted. I'm a woman too. Don't you remember? Sing about love. Don't talk about it. That way it won't hurt you. Fifteen minutes been outside the grand entrance. No! No! No more press conferences! No opening in Pittsburgh! I don't think to like... change in plans. Perrette's still under the dryer, so uh, we'll have the party tonight after the show. After the lights and the music. Now, I want a lot of column inches, boys. I want you to fall under Perrette's spell. <laughs> 